This is the first video in my series on core algorithms in computer programming. Now a core algorithm is a basic algorithm that pretty much every programmer knows how to do. They're usually simple things um, that can be combined into, um, to, make have a, to have greater effects, but they're things that are just commonly done in programming. Um, it's akin to, um, say, like, like hammering in a nail. Right? It's just something that you just know how to do. Once you, It may take a little bit of time to do it properly, but after you know how to do it, you just do it. And in itself, it's pretty useless. But when you combine it with other core algorithms or with other intentions, um, then they can become a lot more useful. Now, the first of the core algorithms I'm going to talk about is swapping values. This is a common thing that we do where we have two variables, um, each containing their own unique value, and we want to swap them um, such that one contains the value of the other. Okay, so in this example, I've created two integers. So I have number one, which I've set to be a value of one, and number two, which is another integer that has a value of two. And then what I have is uh, just a comment here, and this is where I'm going to put the code. Um, but And then I just output the values here, so number one, and showing what their values are. When I run the code, it's going to show me that number one is equal to one, and number two is equal to two. No surprises there. Okay, so the first thing that a lot of people would do when they're swapping numbers is they would just say something like this. Number one is equal to number two, and number two is equal to number one. Now, the problem with this, and we'll see what happens, okay, is when I run this, they both become two. Okay, and this can be seen just from looking at like a quick truth table here. So I'll throw that in a comment here. Okay, so if I have number one and number two, okay, when I first start the program, I have number one is equal to one and number two is equal to two. And then I go to this line and I say number one is equal to number two. So it says number one is equal to number two and now number two is two, so number one becomes two. And then number two is equal to number one. Well number one is also two, so it says it to be two. And that's why at the end they're both two. Now if I were to swap these and move them into a different order, it still wouldn't work. Um, in fact what would happen is that the same thing would happen, it's just that number they would both be now one, the original value of number one. Okay, so now they're both one. Okay. The way we do this is we introduce a temporary variable. So I'm going to say int temp okay, is equal to number one. And what that's going to do is it's going to store the value of number one um, so that when we overwrite it, it won't get lost. Then we say number one is equal to number two. Now, because we said number one is equal to number two, the original value of number one is lost. Uh, but it's stored in temp, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and then when I say number two is equal to something, I can say number two is equal to the stored value, which is in temp. Okay, and this should allow me to swap the two values. Let's take a look. Okay, and number one is two, and number one is one. Okay, and just to prove that I haven't uh, fudged it here. Okay, I'll print them before the swap and after the swap. Okay, so before the swap it's 1, 2, and after the swap it's 2, 1. Okay, and that's how we swap two numbers in computer programming. Okay, um, if you have any questions, then please drop a comment in the comment box or send me an email. If you do like my video, then please give me a thumbs up, and if you do like the series, then please consider subscribing.